Are you ready to discover the power of supplements and medications in managing chronic kidney disease? Imagine trying to drive a car with a slowly deflating tire. That's what CKD is like for the kidneys. Now imagine if you had tools to patch up that tire and keep the car running smoother. That's the power of supplements and medications. CKD is characterized by the gradual loss of kidney function, which can have significant health implications. Supplements and medications play a vital role in addressing nutritional gaps and managing symptoms and complications associated with CKD. Our kidneys are responsible for important bodily functions like converting vitamin D and producing red blood cells. As CKD progresses, these functions can be compromised, leading to deficiencies that impact overall health. Supplements provide necessary nutrients that might be lacking due to dietary restrictions, while medications treat specific symptoms and complications. While diet and lifestyle modifications are important, they might not be enough as the disease progresses. A combined approach of diet, supplements, and medications offers a holistic strategy to manage CKD and improve the quality of life. In this video, we'll explore the benefits of supplements and medications, when and why they're needed, and considerations for incorporating them into a CKD management plan. Whether you're a patient, a caregiver, or a healthcare professional, join us on this journey to better understand the role of supplements and medications in CKD management. And for specific information about me medications that are used in CKD, please see the article linked in the description below where I provide specific information about different medications and what they do in chronic kidney disease. Now I want to do a disclaimer. The information provided in this video is for educational purposes only and is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified healthcare provider with any questions you may have regarding your medical condition or anything you learn in this video. It's important to remember that every individual is unique and the management of chronic kidney disease may vary from person to person. Any changes to your diet, supplements, or medications should be discussed and approved by your healthcare provider before implementation. They can assess your specific needs, medical history, and potential interactions with other medications you may be taking. The content of this video is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. The information provided is based on current knowledge and research at the time of publication. As the field of medicine is constantly evolving, new information and guidelines may emerge that could impact the recommendations provided here. It's crucial to maintain open and honest communication with your healthcare team to ensure the best possible management of your chronic kidney disease. They can provide personalized advice and guidance tailored to your specific situation. If you have any concerns or questions about your condition or treatment plan, please consult your health care provider. While this video aims to provide general information and insights into the role of supplements and medications in chronic kidney disease, it is essential to consult with your health care provider before making any changes to your current treatment plan. My hope is that I give you some ideas and you check with your doctor and see if that's anything that needs to change. Welcome to our comprehensive guide on managing chronic kidney disease or CKD. Today, we're going to be diving deep into four areas of CKD management. First, we'll explore the vital role of supplements in addressing nutritional deficiencies. And next, we'll discuss the various medications prescribed to manage CKD symptoms and slow its progression. And we'll also touch upon the potential interactions to be aware of, ensuring treatments are both safe and effective. Lastly, we'll emphasize the importance of personalized recommendations, understanding that each individual's journey with CKD is unique. Let's embark on this enlightening journey together. You might be wondering about who I am and why I'm qualified to talk about this. If you're someone living with chronic kidney disease, I've got great news for you. Hello, I'm Mathia Ford, a registered dietitian nutritionist specializing in chronic kidney disease and owner of renaldiethq.com. I specialize in helping people just like you improve their health by making simple yet delicious changes to your meals. Together, we can transform your eating habits, boost your overall well being, and ensure that you're enjoying every bite along the way. Say goodbye to bland and boring meals and say hello to a healthier, more vibrant life. Let's get started on this incredible journey to a better health together. Visit renaldiethq.com today and take the first step towards a healthier lifestyle. Are you aware of the important role that supplements play in managing CKD? If not, get ready to dive into this fascinating world of how CKD impacts the body's nutritional landscape. 
As CKD progresses, our kidneys, which act as natural filters, start losing efficiency. This results in decreased ability to process and retain essential nutrients, leading to significant deficiencies even with a balanced diet. That's where supplements can come in. Let's take vitamin D as an example. Normally, our kidneys convert vitamin D from our diet and sunlight exposure into its active form, which is crucial for bone health. However, as CKD progresses, this conversion ability diminishes, potentially causing weakened bones and an increased risk of fractures. By introducing a vitamin D supplement, for example, we pro directly provide the body with an active form, bypassing the need for kidney conversion. And that is a prescribed vitamin D, not necessarily one off the counter. Anemia is also a common occurrence in CKD patients due to reduced production of erythropoietin, a hormone that stimulates red blood cell production. Iron, a key component of red blood cells, can also be poorly utilized in CKD. Iron supplements may become essential in managing anemia in CKD patients. Additionally, dialysis, a life-saving procedure for many with advanced CKD, poses challenges as essential nutrients like B vitamins can be lost during the process. Supplements help bridge this gap and ensure that patients receive all the vital nutrients they need. In conclusion, supplements are not a mere add-on, but often a necessity in the journey of managing CKD. They ensure that despite the challenges posed by CKD, the body continues to receive the nourishment it requires. Let's talk about unleashing the power of medications and managing chronic kidney disease. Beyond supplements, there's an array of medications that not only control symptoms, but also slow the degrees disease's progression. Key to CKD treatment is blood pressure management, preventing a harmful cycle where CKD leads to high blood pressure, which then worsens CKD. Medications like ACE inhibitors or ARBs are the knights in shining armor, controlling blood pressure and reducing proteinuria, a common CKD symptoms. Proteinuria is when you have protein in your urine. Phosphate binders also play a crucial role as CKD progresses. They counteract the kidney's decreased ability to filter excess phosphorus, preventing potential bone disorders and cardiovascular issues. Another noteworthy medication is erythropoiesis stimulating agents, ESAs, which directly combat the challenge of anemia, a common complication of CKD. ESAs stimulate the bone marrow to produce more red blood cells, offsetting the reduced erythropoietin production seen in CKD. In a nutshell, CKD medications are powerful tools that manage symptoms, prevent complications, and slow down the disease's progression. They offer patients a ray of hope and an improved quality of life. Hence, they are critical to your journey. Now we step into the complex world of supplements and medications, where each pill holds the potential to both heal and harm. In the fight against CKD, the balance of treatment is a tightrope walk. Each medication or supplement has its own journey inside the body, and when multiple treatments come into play, the risk of adverse interaction increases. For example, seemingly harmless over-the-counter pain relievers can interfere with crucial blood pressure medications, putting kidney function at risk. Even beneficial supplements like calcium become a double-edged sword when consumed excessively, leading to serious complications like vascular calcification or blood vessels getting calcium in them and hardening. In this intricate dance of treatments, communication with healthcare providers becomes our lifeline. Through regular checkups and blood tests, they help maintain the balance, ensuring treatments are both safe and effective. While the world of CKD treatment is vast, the key lies in precision, awareness, and regular monitoring. Remember, it's not just about having an arsenal of treatments, but using them wisely ensures optimal health benefits. Did you know that calcium, the building block of our bones and teeth, plays a critical role in managing CKD? Let's explore why. Our bones continuously regenerate using calcium and phosphate to build new bone. However, with CKD, this delicate balance is disrupted potentially leading to bone disorders called CKD MBD. The kidneys, which help regulate calcium levels by producing calcitriol, a form of vitamin D, fail to function optimally in CKD patients. This results in reduced calcium absorption, which prompts the parathyroid glands to produce more parathyroid hormone or PTH, which can weaken bones over time. To counter this, calcium supplementation may be essential. It aids bone health and reduces the need for excessive PTH production. However, the type and dosage of calcium, along with its combination with other treatments like vitamin D supplements, need careful consideration. There's a catch. Excess calcium can lead to vascular calcification, hardening of your arteries, depositing calcium in blood vessels, and posing cardiovascular risks. 
Therefore, regular monitoring and consultation with healthcare providers are crucial. While calcium is central to bone health, in the context of CKD, it needs meticulous management. With the right approach, it can improve the quality of life for CKD patients, ensuring strong bones with a reduced risk of fractures. Dialysis can be a lifesaver, acting as an artificial kidney for those with advanced CKD. But did you know it can also lead to the potential loss of vital nutrients, particularly B vitamins? Let's talk about this lesser known aspect of dialysis. B vitamins, the energy boosting, nerve functioning, red blood cell forming nutrients are essential for our health. This group includes B1, B2, B3, B6, B12, folic acid, pantothenic acid, and biotin. A deficiency can cause fatigue, anemia, or even nerve damage. During dialysis, especially hemodialysis, there's a risk that these vitamins are being stripped from the blood. Combined with the dietary restrictions often associated with CKD, this can lead to substantial B vitamin deficiencies. The reason why B vitamins are stripped away is because the B vitamins are water soluble. So they are in your blood. And when the volume is taken out of your blood, you also lose those vitamins. They can easily be extracted with the fluid from your dialysis process. So what's the solution? It can be a supplement. B vitamin supplements can ensure patients receive the necessary nutrients to maintain energy levels support nerve function, and prevent anemia. But remember, it's not as simple as taking a general B complex supplement. The type, dosage, and frequency needs to be customized to individual needs, considering factors like the kind of dialysis and dietary intake. Regular monitoring through blood tests is also vital to ensure B vitamin levels remain within the desired range, making adjustments as needed. In short, while dialysis is a lifeline for those with advanced CKD, it's vital to stay informed about its nutritional implications. With the right B vitamin supplementation strategy, in concert with your nephrologist, patients can continue to lead energetic and lower their symptoms. Did you know that managing your blood pressure might be the secret weapon in your fight against chronic kidney disease? Our kidneys play a crucial role in regulating blood pressure, but when CKD comes into the picture, the system can go awry. High blood pressure can damage your kidneys and impaired kidneys can lead to hypertension. It's a vicious cycle that makes both conditions worse. However, blood pressure medications offer a glimmer of hope. Drugs like ACE inhibitors and ARBs not only control your blood pressure, but they also protect your kidneys, reducing symptoms like proteinuria that can speed up CKD progression. But the world of blood pressure medications is vast from beta blockers to diuretics. The right prescription for you depends on your individual needs. But remember, medications are not a be all and end all solution. A healthy lifestyle, think low sodium diet, regular exercise, weight management is equally essential in managing blood pressure for CKD patients. Regular monitoring of blood pressure and kidney function ensures your treatment is on track. In a nutshell, by controlling blood pressure and protecting your kidneys, you can pave the way for a healthier future. It's time to break the cycle of high blood pressure and kidney damage and take control of your health. If you found this video so far engaging, informative, and useful, we would greatly appreciate your support. By hitting the subscribe button, you can ensure that you never miss out on any future updates, insights, or exciting content we have store in store for you. And now back to our regularly scheduled programming. Ever wondered how a mineral as essential as phosphorus could pose a health risk? Well, in the world of CKD, it's a real concern. Phosphorus plays a vital role in our bodies from bone formation to energy production. But when it comes to CKD, it can become a dangerous player. Normally, our kidneys filter out excess phosphorus. However, as CKD progresses, this function deteriorates, causing increased phosphorus levels, a condition known as hyperphosphatemia. This isn't just a lab anomaly. It can lead to serious health issues like bone disorders, tissue classification, and even a heightened risk of cardiovascular events. So how do we combat this phosphorus problem? Enter phosphate binders. These are drugs that bind to dietary phosphorus, preventing its absorption in your digestive tract, and thus maintaining a healthier balance. There's a range of these binders available, each with a unique action, such as calcium-based binders and non-calcium-based ones like sevlamir and lanthanum. But it's not just about popping pills. Dietary factors are just as crucial. Reducing intake of phosphorus-rich foods like dairy, nuts, beans, and certain meats is key. And beware of hidden phosphates in processed foods. In short, managing phosphorus in CKD is a three-pronged approach, medication, diet, and regular monitoring. Doing so can significantly cut down complications 
risks and improve CKD patients' quality of life. Unlocking the puzzle between anemia and chronic kidney disease reveals the power of a hormone called erythropoietin. As kidney function declines in CKD, so too does the production of this important hormone, leading to fewer red blood cells and ultimately anemia. But thanks to modern medicine, we have a solution erythropoiesis stimulating agents or ESAs. ESAs mimic the action of erythropoietin, triggering the bone marrow to produce the much needed red blood cells. This can significantly improve the lives of CKD patients, reducing fatigue, shortness of breath, cognitive impairments, and even the need for blood transfusions. Not to mention, it can also boost cardiovascular health. However, it's important to remember that while they address anemia, ESAs don't replace other CKD treatments. Dosage may, must be carefully calculated based on hemoglobin levels, and potential side effects must also be considered. But with the right approach, ESAs can shine a ray of hope for CKD patients grappling with anemia. Indeed, the marvels of modern medicine have given us the ability to replicate and harness our body's natural processes to improve health outcomes. Take a journey into the complex world of potential interactions, a critical concept in healthcare that impacts everyone especially those with CKD. Just as the food we eat travels through our body, interacting with various systems before it's deactivated and removed through our liver, kidneys, or other means, so do medications and supplements. When these substances overlap, they can enhance or diminish each other's effects, sometimes even leading to negative outcomes. For example, a simple over-the-counter cough medicine could negatively interact with certain blood pressure medications, impacting your kidneys function. Even foods like grapefruit can interfere with the effectiveness of various medications. Doctors often adjust the dosage based on your stage of CKD to lessen these side effects. But understanding potential interactions ensures the safety and efficacy of treatments. It allows healthcare providers to make informed decisions, choosing treatments that offer maximum benefits with minimal risk. Moreover, these interactions aren't always harmful. Some medications are prescribed together precisely because they enhance each other's effects. This is why it's important to inform all of your healthcare providers about all of the medications and supplements that you take. Keeping a list with you of all the medications, dosages, and reasons why they are take taken is invaluable. In essence, the realm of potential interactions is vast, intricate, and crucial to our health. It underlines the importance of open communication with healthcare providers, comprehensive research, and constant monitoring. By being proactive and informed, we can maximize the benefits of our treatments while minimizing potential risks. Imagine navigating a tightrope. That's what determining the right dosage for chronic kidney disease treatment resembles. It's a precise balancing act between efficacy and safety, a critical component of CKD management. This becomes even more significant as CKD impacts the body's ability to metabolize and excrete substances. Every medication or supplement has a therapeutic window, a range where it's effective without causing any additional harm or harmful side effects. Straying outside this window by using too little can reduce the treatment's benefits, while using too much can pose a risk of side effects or toxicity. For instance, while calcium is vital for bone health in CKD patients, excessive intake can lead to serious complications like blood vessel calcification. This delicate balance isn't static. As CKD progresses, the body's needs and its ability to handle treatments fluctuate, necessitating regular assessments and potential dosage adjustments. This is because your kidneys participate in removing the medication from your body, and as their capacity to do this is affected by the lower amount of function your kidneys have in later stages, less is removed and may allow buildup of some of the medications in your blood. Also, the combined effect of multiple treatments must be considered when determining individual dosages. In essence, the right dosage epitomizes the precision and care integral to CKD management. It underscores the need for treatments to be consumed with consciousness and responsibility. Regular consultations, monitoring, and open communication with healthcare providers are key to ensuring that dosages remain optimal, providing benefits without unnecessary risks. Imagine piloting a car without ever glancing at the dashboard. It's dangerous and ineffective, much like managing CKD without regular monitoring. Just as the dashboard provides essential feedback for driving, regular monitoring offers invaluable insights for CKD management. It's more than just routine blood tests. It includes blood pressure measurements, urine tests, imaging studies like ultrasounds, each contributing to a holistic picture of a patient's health. Regular monitoring isn't just a preventive measure, it's a proactive strategy. 
It allows healthcare providers to identify potential challenges before they manifest as symptoms, enhancing patients' quality of life and preventing complications. It significantly reduces the risk of hospitalizations and even mortality. At its core, regular monitoring forms the backbone of CKD management. It's a team effort involving patients, healthcare providers, and caregivers all working together to ensure every decision and intervention is based on accurate, up-to-date information. It's the embodiment of evidence-based care, a testament to the power of precision and awareness in healthcare. In the world of CKD management, regular monitoring is not just crucial, it can be life-saving. Imagine a world where healthcare is not just a blanket solution, but a tailored masterpiece that considers each patient's unique journey, especially in the realm of CKD. This is the power of personalized recommendations. CKD patients are diverse from young adults with genetic predisposition to seniors with decades long hypertension. Their lifestyles, dietary habits, health conditions, and treatment goals are different. A one size fits all solution could be not only inefficient, but also potentially dangerous. Personalized recommendations start with a thorough assessment that includes medical factors like CKD cause, stage, symptoms, and complications. It also scrutinizes the patient's lifestyle, diet, physical activities, emotional and psychological health. And with this detailed profile, healthcare providers can create a tailored treatment plan, incorporating appropriate medications, diet, lifestyle changes, and mental health support. First, it enhances treatment efficacy by meeting each individual's unique needs. Second, it improves safety by considering potential risks. And finally, it empowers patients fostering compliance and proactive involvement in their healthcare journey. In a nutshell, personalized recommendations reflect a holistic, patient-focused approach in managing CKD. They remind us that each diagnosis, lab report, or prescription belongs to a unique individual with their own hopes, challenges, dreams, and fears. Tailoring recommendations to their unique journey not only improves the quality of care, but also profoundly impacts their lives in a meaningful way. I will say that one of the things that I always preach to people is to not be more restrictive in your diet than you need to be at that moment, because eventually it will get more restrictive and you don't want to have that restriction all along the way. So people try to be very restrictive with their diet and not eat a lot of foods in the initial stages. They need to focus on other parts of the diet like protein and sodium to help manage that level of the disease, that stage. Okay, so now we've gone over everything related to supplements and medications. We've covered several aspects of that. The importance of supplements and medications, we talked about how they play a crucial role in CKD management, enhancing your dietary efforts to address specific health challenges and deficiencies. And then number two, we talked about understanding medications for CKD. We've looked into a range of essential medications from blood pressure controllers to anemia, addressing ESAs, being aware of potential interactions. It's vital to understand how supplements, medications, and foods can interact, highlighting the need for professional advice. And number four, the need for regular monitoring. Periodic assessments are key to maintaining the effectiveness of treatment and nutrient balance. In essence, managing CKD involves a blend of medical interventions, lifestyle changes, and consistent monitoring. It's a joint venture involving patients, caregivers, and healthcare providers to tackle the difficulties and acknowledge the progress. As I wrap up, remember that being well-informed is the initial step towards effective CKD management. 